welcome back to the second season of the Tune in 10. Well, my name's Adam, that's Pete, and... <laughs> Vince is gone, Vince is gone, Vince is... Uh... For the new season, he's no more. <laughs> <laughs> Vince is on his holidays, um, unlike a lot of the Newcastle squad who've returned to training this week. Um, but we're going to crack on without Vince, uh, simply because there's, we've got a lot to talk about. Mm -hmm. Lots happened this week, uh, lots of ins, lots of outs, um, pre-season's begun. Um, I'm going to shuffle over actually, it's yeah. a little bit too close. Let's get on with it. <laughs> okay, um, if you've never seen the show before, uh, it's the tune in 10, it's five minutes a half, we'll set the timer away for the first half, we'll talk about one topic, once the timer goes we stop. Half time, and then the second topic in the second half. Um, and I'm sure most of you already know that by now. Um, <laughs> this is uh, Vince's stand in, Max. Um, so he's going to be uh, disrupting proceedings for the duration of the podcast. Uh, so we welcome Max um, to the 2 and 10. Right, um, without further ado, let's begin the first half of the second season, the difficult second season. <laughs> um, Let's talk about um, let's talk about incomes first. Something okay. something a bit more positive. Um, five minutes on the timer and go. Right. So we've had three new signings this week. Um, we'll take you through them. We've got Matt Sells from um, Ghent. Uh, he's a Belgian goalkeeper, twenty four, mm -hmm. pretty tall. Um, pretty tall. Pretty tall. Yeah. Good for good for a goalkeeper. Yeah, yeah. Well, we've had a, <laughs> we've had a few smallies like Elliot's. Elliot's fairly big. He's pretty fast. Given was yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so um, he's he's goalkeeper of the season. Um, uh, they're saying that um, that would suggest that Kroll could be on his way out. Yeah, I mean he was heavily linked with Everton, yeah, but then Everton have just, just signed Stekelenburg. Stekelenburg. So yeah, um, um, yeah, I mean I, I don't know anything about him. In all honesty, I, I, mean, I don't know. Was he five million or something? Yeah, four and a half. I mean, four, like, you know. Fine, I'm, I, I, I can't really talk about it, I don't know anything. No, I, I mean, what does it, but what, what does it signal? I mean, does it, does it, should, I mean, Benitez came out in his video uh, this week um, from the training ground and sort of talked about how um, he pointed to the injuries of Cruel and Elliot and that he didn't want to be left in the lurch again, which I understand. Yeah. Um, but is it that Sells, he possibly sees a bit more of an all rounder, that he's a bit more of a, he can kind of do the whole lot, um, you know. You, Elliot's probably a good sh shot stopper and he's good at distribution, whereas he's probably not very dominant claiming balls in the box, um, as as cruel might be, just simply because of his. I mean, you've got to be you've got to be a bit good if you're Elliot, mind, because I mean, he did he did put a decent shift in for he, last he, season. He did. But of all the positions, goalkeeping wasn't really for that for that to be our first signing. But, but granted, the injuries. But, but it signals a lot about what Benitez is planning to do, though, doesn't it? In terms of he's not going to be left in the lurch again. Mm. He's he's happy to buy players first before we sign them, before we sell them, which has been an issue before. So we've we've, we've got that in. We've also made a double cap capture uh, yeah. this week of uh, outfield players: Dwight Gale from Crystal Palace, ten million, and Matt Ritchie from Bournemouth for a, a championship record. Is that right? Twelve million. Yeah. I think I think Ritchie. Really good signing. I mean, he'd be good signing in the Premiership. He's a solid player. I'm yeah. very surprised he's come his, down. His, his goals and assists record um, is pretty impressive, to be honest. Um, yeah. He's um, he's just a he's a he's a he's a he's a good player. He's got Championship experience. Well, in the Championship, he, he averages um, at least it, it it basically directly contributes to a goal every other game. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm really I think I think he's a brilliant signing. Dwight Gale. I mean, headline ten million. You're like, what? But then, mm, look, I'll there's, 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 there's a couple of things with Dwight Gale because my worry is, who does that not know? Because I, I was hoping that this season could have been Armstrong's season a little bit. I know he isn't. You know, championship could be a perfect level for him. Perfect level for him. Get some momentum. Uh, score a couple of goals. <laughs> um, <laughs> And, you know, Dwight Gale coming in. I still think Dwight Gale's got to do a good job in the Championship. And actually, if you look at his record, it's something like you only started 36 times and he's got 24 goals. Uh, yeah, I, I've seen this as well. Yeah. And But uh, it's a gamble for me. Um, I, I find him a bit lightweight. Um, I'm obviously hoping he does the business for us. And yeah. if it's a case of him coming in as 
a better option to Riviere for a long season and for squad depth. Yeah. Um, Max, Max, Max. <laughs> and for squad depth, then that could be a really positive thing. Um, does it suggest he's he's, he's going to play other formations apart from one up top? Yeah, I think it does. Because I, I can't see him leading the line on his own. No, no. He's got, kind of got the body of a child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he, yeah, like yeah, say, he's he, very quick. Kind of fail fair. What, what you've got... What, for, for Mitrovic, yeah. For Mitrovic, yeah. Mitrovic but, him, but, and, him and Perez are probably going to swap positions. But what I it. think is that is... Just, I don't know. Does this mean that... That's very distracting. <laughs> um, Max, give us a key. Give us keys. Wait, does that mean that, sorry? Um, so, does that mean that, um, I don't, <laughs> I don't know, I, I, it's, a, it's a funny one, I hope he's going to score, but why has he not been playing? Has it been injuries, has it been attitude, mm. what, has it been his application? Mm. The, yeah, he's only made this many starts, people are telling me, well, you're not clinical as, as, as much as that because he's not, be, he's not had that many stuff, but why? Yeah, yeah, that yeah. Surely, well, why it's not as though he was competing against... Um, Adebayo, yeah. Conor Wickham. Conor Wickham scored five league goals last season. Yeah. Adebayo, probably less. Like, Crystal Palace aren't, like... No, no. No, no, I didn't. They haven't got, they haven't got a deluge of it's clinical strikers. It's not a thing that wow. and, it, and then when you see 10 million, you think, that's a, that's a lot, a lot of, money of money for a championship club on a player who wasn't forcing himself into the team, albeit a premiership team, but it was still Palace. And you, yeah, I, 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 the thing is, so going on to incomings, defenders, man. I'm sure that will going to be next week. I'm sure that will be next week. Um, quite a disruptive uh, first half, <laughs> um, but we'll... Um, <laughs> good lad, Max. Keep up the good work. Um, we'll catch you after half-time. Hello, hello, and welcome back to the second half of the Tune In 10. That's right, we're back, better than ever. Um, well, we will be once we've uh, got the full quota. Um, it's two and a half at the minute. Um, <laughs> but yes, so as we've talked about in incomings in the, in the first half, yeah. but it's been a really, really busy week um, and as far as outgoings go as well. Mm. Um, so let's talk. So let's talk outgoings. Time at the ready and go. Obviously, the first one got to be our friend Andros. Uh, Thirteen million Crystal Palace. Can it blame him? Can't, it's one of them. He had a, nothing Benitez could do. That he had a release clause. He's got a chance to play in the Premiership. Gone back to London. Of course, he's done it. It's yeah. a massive shame because he would have. Been unbelievable in the championship. I'm glad he shaved his hair as well. As it's like, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a lot better for it. Looks a lot better. Yeah. Well, I think, I, I, like you say, I think it's um, we can't, we, we couldn't have really expected anything less than that. However, I'm still gutted. I'm still oh, mourning his loss because absolutely. I think he's an absolute incredible player. Yeah. And I think, as much as it's been um, negated slightly by Richie's rival, who again, very good player. There's a lot of mentions that Richie's better than Townsend. That feels a bit sour gapes for me. That feels yeah. a bit just trying to console themselves. Mm -hmm. He's not. No. Townsend is better than Richie. Um, but that's not to say Richie won't perform well. And obviously Richie is a Newcastle player now. Townsend is not. So there's only one man I'm backing. Um, but I mean, you could argue Richie is possibly more consistent. You, know, you could, you could you do. Know, you could do. Townsend can be a bit up and down. At the end of the day when we signed him you were like, what Townsend are we going to get? And it, we got a very, very good Townsend. We did, yeah. Um, we did, yeah. But, yeah, it is, it, it's, it's an absolute shame. It is, and I mean, this is, this is the problem we're dropping down the championship, ultimately, because well, we're not, that wouldn't have You're, been you're open offers like that. I mean, the release clause was, um, was activated by Palace. I mean, the way I console myself is the fact that it's, it's only Palace. Yeah. And it's only Pardew. And... and, and <laughs> That feels a bit sort of aggressive towards Palace, but it's not. I mean, I think he's, I think he's done himself. I, I felt he could have waited a bit longer, and maybe, maybe wait to see what else was out there. But maybe got an indication of his agent that nobody else was fancying paying thirteen million for him, mm. which is, seems ludicrous because yeah, he, yeah, yeah. again, he's exactly what we should have yeah, needed like, in the Euro squad. Like deal cost ten million. You would have thought people would snap the hand off for thirty. Exactly. So, I mean, it's nothing, is it? So, so, ta so, so he's gone. But you know, ultimately. Palace are going to struggle next season. I know everyone's got a lot of... They're, they're putting in a lot of big bids. Bid, bid for Benteke, for yeah. example. Um, 
they brought in Steve Mandanda, um, the goalkeeper, who's got a lot of experience in France and a lot of experience in the Champions League. But ultimately, everyone's going to have a lot of money in the Premier League, and you've got to believe that they're going to be in for a scrap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and they're under Pardew, so we know that they're going to be in trouble well, sooner well, or later because it's his 18-month cycle yeah, yeah. that eventually... Well, he'll have a good period. He'll have a... Yeah, he's, yeah, he's obviously yeah, a good period. And, years, then, and then classic Pardew will arrive. Just ask Southampton fans, ask West Ham fans. But anyway, this isn't about Pardew. It's not about Pardew. Moving on from that, Colo. Colaccini, um, it was probably two seasons too late for yeah, me. It, 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 he, it, it was an outstayed welcome. Yeah. He's been trying to manufacture a move to San Lorenzo for... Three seasons now. He's been well past his best pretty much since then. He's been distracted. I mean, at the end of the day, look, he was. He's been, for a, when, he's for been when, a good. For when he was good. He's been a good like club the servant. Particularly when we went down last time. Um, you know, he was yeah. a massive reason why we came up. Yeah. Um, he was then really good for about three seasons, I'd say, in the Premier League. He was very good, very yeah. good, and he was, he was integral to our season. Um, when we finished fifth as well. Never like a captain for me, man. But, um, no, but it was like leading by influence, wasn't it? Yeah. But, so, um, it, it's, yeah, look, he needed to go. You're not going to mourn that. He did. Um, and, and him and Taylor going, I think, clears the way for, obviously, new defensive recruits, I think, if we can hold on to Mbemba. I think Lasell's going to play a big part. Who would you like to see come in, defender-wise, with, with, with that, that kind of exit, you know? I mean, I'd look at Kolker, for example. Um, He's, he's fellow championship. Keep talking about Kolka. I mean, that three seasons now I've said Kolka, 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 but he's not. You know, you'll get a. Is he too? Good. Is he too similar to the There's cells, something, there's something dodgy about him. There's got to be because he moved every time. He, 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 well, it's it's because he's been relegated every yeah, time. Yeah, That's yeah, the point. yeah. Okay. So, what does that say? Yeah, it does. So, I mean, I, you know, I think you, it, it's a funny one. Yeah, I would take him because. Well, I wouldn't, have, but I don't think he'd come. He won't drop down. He's going to get a premiership. I mean, it seems pretty certain from what we're sort of hearing from whispers on the Chronicle and things like that that next week could be as we'll have as many influences. Are we linked with anyone defensively? Um, I don't know. We actually. will be. Yeah. But again, the Richie and Gale thing happened over a matter of days. Certainly the Richie thing. Oh, I, so was, I mean, the Gale days. thing was talked about. But the Richie Gale thing, but the Richie thing was yeah, over yeah. and done with in a couple of days. Yeah, they must yeah, have known yeah. that the town's end was accelerating. But I think we need to clear out this Deadwood and the, and the outgoings are uh, part and parcel. It's a positive thing. I still expect Tio and Cissé to go. Yeah. I'm not sure. Maybe when Yeah. Maybe, when I, I don't. I, I'm yeah. happy for him to go. Look at that. That was quick. That's the end of the second half. This is a final thing. It is nice because just before those signings came in, Benitez came out and said we've got things lined up. And we've heard that kind of stuff before. But he's backed. He, that's he very right. Up. He backed it and up. I was like, okay, that, that's great. He's not just saying it. It's and not a sound bite to nice, get people off his nice back. Shift. It's, yeah, not, yeah. It's, it's not just. Uh -huh. well, it's not being a politician about it, for uh, example. Yeah. Um, but no, he's, he's, he's followed through, and I, yeah, the more he does. Um, this sort of schools tournament that he's getting up and running, he's working out the things about the academy, the training facilities have been improved. Um, there's a lot happening, and he's doing again for me. He's, he's, and saying, then, he's saying a lot of the right things and doing a lot of the right things and backing it up. Amazingly, despite because considering we went down, um, it's not a bad time to be in the right now. It's not, it's not. We're going to have to take yeah. a few hits like the Townsend thing, that won't be the last, yeah hit that we take, but I but think largely we've got a managed. good young squad. Yeah, 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 I'm, 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 I'm confident. On, a, on, a, on my final note, word on the new strip. Uh, what okay. do you feel about it? Uh, okay. I mean, I think it's got, it's got that the gold trim. Give, uh, I don't know why they give uh, Dwight Gill a junior top, though. Because he <laughs> loved the picture. It looks ridiculous. <laughs> well, again, he's got the body of a child. Yeah. Um, but, but, but yeah, I think it's... I think that it, it looks quite smart. The goal from a couple of the other options that we of the rumours that we saw on Twitter over the summer, it's pretty nice a thing all told. It doesn't really look like a championship strip, which if you don't like mm. doesn't look as tatty as uh, like you, a Macron you, one. Yeah. <laughs> you don't you don't want I mean yeah. <laughs> Puma's Puma, but at least yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. a it's not a Macron. <laughs> um but I thought it looks quite smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks canny. Yeah, yeah. Um so yeah, so that's um so that's uh, that's the that's the episode done. Um, thanks very much for tuning in, everybody. If you're new to the podcast, please hit subscribe, share with all your friends, um, and we'll have loads more videos for you coming over the summer and heading into the start of a brand new season in the Championship. The Raffa predictions, predictions, predictions on the comments of where you think we'll finish next season. Yeah, get your comments in as always, as always. Um, 
and give us some topics to talk about as well over yeah, the summer. Yeah. Uh, what would you like to see us talk about? Um, but yes, the revolution continues and um, we'll be there all the way. Okay, so I've been Adam, that's been Pete. Vince hasn't been here, but Max has, <laughs> very brazenly. Um, and we'll see you next time. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Bye, bye.